Hi everybody! I'm about to give you guys the full backstage Victoria's Secret Angel glam experience. Okay, one more. We're backstage at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. I share with you guys the backstage secrets of the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. I even have the confidential beauty breakdown, which I would show you guys, but I can't. Very confidential information. And we're gonna do our best here. A legitimate robe I've worn, which still smells like tanner and sweat, a little buttery, real human smell there. My first CS Angel fashion show robe. I'm mostly going to stick with Victoria's Secret beauty products, but I always do serum first. This one's by Clay de Poe. My skin is thirsty before I start beating the face. Going to apply some moisturizer. This one's Clay de Peau, and it has some SPF in it. It is summertime right now, and you even get sun UV rays from the windows. So I'm going to prep the skin first, and then we're going to go into the beauty breakdown of the iconic bombshell. Oh, that's a lot of tint. I, my hand looks like some weird, <laughs> like a massacre just happened. I'm mixing Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Foundation with Dr. Hauschka Tinted Bronzer. A little bit of jasmine green tea on the brush so it's not too cakey. of concealer. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Retoucher Stick. If you didn't know, Charlotte Tilbury actually did the makeup for the last Victoria's Secret fashion show. I really hope I'm doing you justice right now, Charlotte. I like to initially apply things with a brush, but then blend it with my fingers. The warmth of your fingers helps kind of get the product to sink into your skin better. That retoucher stick really makes everything kind of disappear. I obviously rocking my VS Angel swag, so that's my ice. Bit of Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so now it's time to have some real fun and get into the inner workings of the Victoria's Secret Backstage Glam. I'm gonna follow this sheet. Should know how to do this stuff. And it starts with the eye. <laughs> now I really had to do some digging for this one. Highlight in the inner corners. Earthy brown tones for eye makeup. Individual lashes as needed. Natural, well. <laughs> That part I'm going to take the liberty to omit. You don't want to see me trying to do individual lashes, at least not yet. We'll just curl them and call it a day. Ooh, Allison's eyes. It is the Victoria's Secret Eye Palette, and it even gives me advice that I'm going to take for when I walk out into the runway. Get lit, probably for the second show, not the first one. Go bold, be dramatic. Okay. I'm gonna get lit first, which is highlight the inner corners of my eyes. I'm just following the guidelines. I don't really know if this is clean. Maybe this one's cleaner. Oh yeah, I'm going to highlight my inner corners with champagne, which is fitting because the first step says get lit. It's getting lit. Do my inner corners look lit? I don't know if it's meant to go that much down here. It's fine. Cause, cause they're lit. That right? Okay. 
and her corners popping. I'm talking too much. I'm going to go into this deep bronzy color, which is earthy, but sparkly. If the earth had stars inside of the earth. I like to go in a feline shape. I like to think of them as smoldering cat eyes and not just big old crazy eyes. So go from the middle of the eye and go out. together makes me feel like it's making it more like smoldering. Individual lashes is needed. Well, we're not doing that. We want to look wide and awake on that runway. The one thing this job has instilled on me considering that every makeup artist does it, but it's not necessarily something I grew up watching my mother do every day. This is Victoria's Secret Major Lashes Mascara. Really pull that eyelid up, which looks psychotic, like a clockwork orange film, but that helps you get deep into the root of the lash. And I know that sounds like it doesn't matter, but it does because it helps increase definition of your eye shape. A clean mascara brush or wand to get out any clumps. One that's just poking down. It is what it is. My brows are a weird color. It's not only have they been dyed for a job, but they were lightened in the sun. So I don't even know. But I'm using Anastasia Brow in like this taupey color. I kind of want to do this micro blade thing that everyone's doing where they just kind of tattoo their eyebrow on. I'm a little scared. Maybe I should give it a shot. Facial imbalances are what makes the face special. Get this show on the road here. Before you know it, I'm going to have like a two inch eyebrow. Sculpted cheek, natural looking. I can't believe that's the first robe I ever wore to a Victoria's Secret fashion show. So many memories in these robes. Well, when I read sculpted, I think of contour. The Charlotte Tilbury palette. And it says sculpt on it. So it kind of makes things easier. I like to do the cheeks. A little bit around here. I don't normally go too crazy with contour. Do it when I'm about to go on the VS runway <laughs> or red carpet. The show could start any minute now, right? I have a big old jaw, so I like to do a little contouring here to snatch the face. This is natural. Yeah. The apple of the cheek is a dewy rosy bronze. Well, handy dandy, I have my Victoria's Secret to glow on and on and on which we have a little rosy color here and a bronze color here, so. I'm going into the Honey Lights, because that's a bronzier color. The funny thing about the whole Backstage VS Angel look is that it's surprisingly far more natural than you would think. Highlighter is popping. The same highlighter kind of everywhere and make a nice complimentary palette on your face. Get on the brow bone. Oh yeah. Do you believe that I know what I'm doing yet? <laughs> Cause what do I do? I mean that's the vibe, right? Models get in trouble all the time for sneaking extra makeup products on backstage. 
to the final steps now. Now we're on to lips. Taupe nude lip with a little bit of shine. Oh wait, wait. Wait, I wanted to do another step, which is really cool. This is the Lips Like Sugar Victoria's Secret Lip Scrub. My lips are always dry, and they're a little sunburnt at the moment. It's really good. It tastes like sugar. Well, because there's sugar in it. Now I, my lips feel much softer already. The Velvet Line, Nearly Nude by Victoria's Secret. I'm just going to sharpen it. This is going to overdraw my top lip. See, just like that. I really like this lip liner. The overall color is nude with a little shine. That's contradictory because this is a velvet matte lip gloss by Victoria's Secret that's not shiny. All about a nude lip especially when you have an eye going on. I honestly love these velvet matte lips so much. Wear them all summer, my favorite product on the market. Extreme Lip Plumper, the Plump Me Up by Victoria's Secret. And it actually tingles because it kind of stings your lips into an allergic reaction and makes them blow up. No. <laughs> Um, it does tingle a little bit, but plump your lip, so it's a good little tingle. It is requesting highlighter, and we are going to get that now. That lit champagne is going on the lips. I never know if I'm doing this right, but... We're pretty much there as far as makeup goes. There's plenty more sheets on nails, which... Mine are not there. I was thinking maybe I will enhance the eye definition by making more of a cat eye. Estee Lauder espresso pencil. I'm gonna get it really tight to the lash line so you kind of don't really notice it's there. I hope that's the plan. I don't want to go in the angle that your lower lid is going or your lower whatever you call that lash line is going oh I don't know what I just did there there's more of it so that's chill just to increase definition maybe are too shiny. This is Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. You want to look glowy, but you don't want to look greasy. T-Zone. Smudges. And then I think at the end, it's all about just kind of like playing around and figuring out what works best for your face. And I'm thinking maybe I'll increase the eyeshadow. And that's pretty much it. All right, so that's the final touch. I'm just adding a little body lotion, the Bombshell Paradise, which smells literally like summer and I have a sunburn here, so I'm fixing that situation. And lingerie, that's a key step before hitting the runway, is that you want to be wearing Victoria's Secret lingerie. All right, so that is the actual step-by-step -step situation. Some actual robe, no lies, lotion. How'd I do? Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I'm just trying to turn this off.